So, kids getting a driver's license, huh? Yeah, clear the roads! Ha ha ha. Seriously though, it's scary stuff. Your new driver hurling down the freeway to say nothing of the insurance hike. Ooh boy. But really, look at the statistics. Drivers between the ages of 15 and 19 are much more likely to experience a collision. You don't want that. I don't want that. Heck, the government doesn't want that. And that's why states nationwide have adopted graduated driver licensing regulations. I know, it sounds complicated, but don't worry. I'm here to help. Welcome to graduated driver licensing made simple. Now, each state has its own set of specific rules and regulations. But today, we're taking a look at Idaho. Meet Daniel and his mom, Dawn. They're about to start on the great adventure of the GDL. Daniel turned 14 and a half yesterday. In Idaho, this means he's just old enough to apply for his driver training instruction permit. And since he's under 17, Daniel needs to attend a driver training before he gets his license. He'll need to get his driver training instructor permit before he can start attending driver training. To do this, he and his mom head down to the local DMV. They'll need to bring with them proof of residency and documentation showing that Daniel is enrolled in school and in good academic standing. Here, they'll apply for and purchase his driver training instruction permit. This permit will be sent straight to the driver training school of his choice. During this phase, Daniel will be enrolled in classroom driver education, which will include 30 hours of classroom education and 6 hours behind the wheel with an instructor. He'll also spend 6 hours with an instructor observing another student driver. When he finishes driver training, Daniel's instructor will hand him a certificate stating that he's passed. With that, Daniel has earned his supervised instruction permit. Here comes the fun part. Daniel needs to clock 50 hours of supervised driving time, 10 of which have to be at night, with a parent or another licensed adult over the age of 21, and not under the influence of alcohol in the front passenger seat. Don will need to sign off on paperwork stating that Daniel has been completing his practice hours. Daniel needs to spend at least six months with his supervised instruction permit working on his driving abilities under his mom's watchful eye before moving on to the next step. He knows he needs to make sure to learn and abide by all the rules of the road because any ticket received during the supervised six months will require him to start the six months over again. The supervised driving period is really important because it gives experienced drivers a chance to make sure that their protege is learning excellent safety practices behind the wheel. Dawn can use the Idaho Parent Supervised Driving Guide to help her teach Daniel. Meet Amanda and her dad, Jason. Amanda is 15 years old and just spent the last six months with her supervised instruction permit, learning Jason's best tips and tricks for how to pull off the perfect parallel parking job, among other vital rules of the road. At the end of the six-month training period, Amanda visits the Idaho Transportation Department website at itd.idaho.gov to schedule a road test with a road skills tester. With a passing score here, she and Jason will head to the DMV, bringing along her certificate of completing driver education, her supervised instruction permit, her practice hours long sheet, and her skills test paperwork. Amanda can now take the written driving test and the vision test. With a passing score, Amanda will receive her graduated driver license. Now she can finally strike out on her own in that brand new Mercedes. Or, you know, whatever. She may be allowed to drive solo now, but there are still safety restrictions on her intermediate license. Since she's under 16, she may only drive between a half hour before sunrise to a half hour after sunset unless accompanied by a licensed driver age 21 or older. Until she turns 17, she may have no more than one passenger under the age of 18, unless the passengers are related to her. These restrictions are in place to minimize risk and distractions and maximize the experience the new driver gets. Amanda knows it's important to stay alert and aware while she's driving, because the law has specific provisions for intermediate drivers. Repeated accidents or injuries caused by drivers with graduated driver licenses carry fines and can even result in license suspension or having to go back to a previous license phase. After Amanda turns 17, the state's safety restrictions will be lifted. Congratulations! At this point, Amanda is a fully licensed, unrestricted, ready-to-go driving machine. Hopefully this handy guide has helped you make sense of the ins and outs of graduated driver licensing. For more information and specific rules for your own state, check out impactteendrivers.org. Happy driving!